Welcome to the how to use the FCK editor tutorial. We have here an empty uh, Visual Web GUI uh, project and we will start by adding the uh, reference to the new FCK library. So I'll go ahead and insert the uh, new FCK library and I'll insert it into the uh, bin directory. And now let's go ahead and add a reference to the uh, FCK library. Okay, and now we can compile the uh, application. Now let's go ahead to the uh, toolbox and let's add the uh, FCK editor to the uh, toolbox. And should click browse and go to the uh, bin directory and select the uh, gizmox.webgui.fck library and we should see the fck editor added now we can uh, drag the uh, fck editor let's enlarge the uh, s the control okay and what we have to do now is to register the control in the uh, web config. So let's go to the uh, view code and take the uh, FCK editor namespace and we'll go to the uh, web config and in the uh, control sections section we will add the uh, FCK editor control. and this is the uh, class name and we will add the uh, assembly name here and we are almost ready to run the uh, application we need to enter the FCK code so I have prepared here the uh, unpacked FCK code as it is uh, downloaded from the uh, FCK editor site so let's go ahead and copy the FCK editor directory and we're going to insert it insert it into our uh, project in the root of the uh, application site. Okay. So now we can see that the uh, FCK editor library directory is within our uh, project and we should be able to uh, run our application and see the uh, FCK editor so we have the uh, FCK editor control working but now let's try to interact with the uh, control let's go to the uh, to our main form and let's set the uh, on load event for the uh, form and in the load event we're going to say this dot fck editor dot value equals this is my text and let's have a button which will do this message box star show and it will show the uh, value of the uh, FCK editor now let's run the application and we have the uh, FCK editor with the text we entered uh, in the uh, unload event and let's change the uh, text add some uh, bold and underline and let's press the uh, button and we see the uh, value of the FCK editor that's how you use the uh, FCK editor thank you for uh, watching this tutorial